Hello everybody, today we are going through my entire makeup collection. Now I am talking to you three weeks post declutter and I can tell you I am delighted with how my makeup collection is now and in what you are about to see you are going to witness something that might break many people's hearts in that I choose to declutter very luxurious makeup, expensive makeup, beautiful makeup and nonetheless despite how fresh as some of those items might seem. I never reached for them and I really decided to be brutal in my choices. I will also be back at the end of the video to update you on a few items I have bought since this declutter. So sit back and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so let's start with base products. So I know that my one primer is hiding under here. So we have the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I have made really good progress with this. I just have this much left. I will use it up. I mean, this has lasted me a very long time. So I'm gonna put this over here for now because I do want the primer to live somewhere over here because this is where I tend to reach for the products that I use the most. They seem to all end up migrating over here. So now let's move on to talk about foundation. My number one pick for foundation is this one by Chanel, the La Beige Water Fresh Tint. I use mine in the shade medium. It just adds that magical touch to the skin. It just makes everything really perfected. And I really enjoy the way it makes my skin look. It just adds so much hydration. I really love how it feels. This is my fourth bottle. And once I finish this, I'll move on to another one. This is one that I'll continue to repurchase for the foreseeable future. I don't really care to replace it with anything else. It's just beautiful. Now I have two more foundations. So I have this Fito Tant Nude by Sisley and I have the Ultra La Tant by Chanel. This one by Chanel definitely offers the most coverage. Whereas the Fito Tant Nude is sort of in between the Chanel Water Fresh Tint and the Chanel Ultra La Tint. So yes, if I had to go in order of coverage from left to right, this is how it would look. Really enjoy the Sisley foundation. That is a foundation that I would repurchase. However, I'm really just loving the Chanel Water Fresh Tint. The Sisley, I'm about up to here right now on it. Whereas I still have a long way to go with the Chanel but I will be keeping all these foundations as they do serve different purposes and I do intend on using them. Okay, I put them to the side for now. So now let's move on to contour and I am loving this contour stick by Westman Atelier. I have mine in the shade Biscuit. It's just the perfect buttery consistency. I love the shade. It is just the perfect contour shade because I'm really enjoying a soft contour right now. Now the contour product I really enjoyed for a while was this one here by Makeup by Mario in the shade Dark. Very different looks, right? Back when I purchased this one by Makeup by Mario, I was really into a heavier contour look and I loved that this was darker as it provided a cool tone contour that was, you know, definitely more noticeable. But I have been reaching for this Westman Atelier contour every single day since purchasing it. I never use the Makeup by Mario one now. And if I did want a darker one, I much, much prefer the formula of the one by Westman Atelier. So for that reason, I am going to declutter this one by Makeup by Mario. In terms of powders, I have one powder that I enjoy using. It is this one here by Sisley. It is the Blur Expert. I have used this a lot already since purchasing it and it is my one and only powder, so I will be keeping this. The bronzes I will be keeping are this one by Tom Ford and Terra and this special shade by Shanta Kai in Ray. This was a limited edition item and I do use both of these very often. They are both lovely. The Shanta Kai offers that more iridescent finish whereas the Tom Ford is like perfectly matte. I love both shades and I use both. So these are the two bronzes I'm going to keep. Now this might come as a surprise, but the two bronzes I'm going to be decluttering uh, is this one by Bobbi Brown in this face compact palette. I just never use it. Even when I'm gonna go traveling, I'm not tempted to bring it. And there is nothing wrong with it. It's a perfectly neutral bronzer, but it is quite similar to the one by Tom Ford. And I've just had this for a while and I never reached for it, so. 
I'm gonna pass this on and I am going to be saying goodbye to this one by Sicily. It is a beautiful bronzer. It's very soft and silky. It has this nice sheen to it. It's very nice for the summer. I did use it quite a bit, but I always reach for the Tom Ford one over this one now. I just think between this one and the Chantecaille shade, I do prefer the Chantecaille shade. So let me swatch them side by side. Okay, so the Chantecaille shade, it's really, really special and I think this is just too orange, especially when I put them side by side. Knowing how they are on my face, I just think this offers a very lovely summery warmth, whereas the Chantecaille, there is something very special about it. It's coming off more peachy on camera, but on the face, it can just be a beautiful one and done bronzer color, and it offers more of that really exciting sort of sheen. If I do want something more bronzy, I even think I could replicate this with certain blushes I have if I wanted to really lean into the orange sort of tone so I'm just not reaching for it and my rule is it has to be a enthusiastic yes for me to keep it right and I'm not feeling this way about this bronzer so for that reason I am letting this go and if you're familiar with me or my channel at all, you know I love Sicily as a brand and I got a bit carried away and I just started purchasing a lot of their products. That's why you're going to see a few of their other products that are going to be decluttered later on. I'm really trying to just break this cycle of becoming really attached to a brand and just buying everything under the sun by them. Oh, let's talk about concealers. I miss those. So these are my two concealers. I'm definitely keeping both. One for under eyes, one for, you know, any imperfections elsewhere on the face. I really enjoy these concealers. These are stained. Okay, let's move on to highlighters right now because that is far more contained than the blush category. So we're going to have to have a whole conversation about that. So I have this one by Chanel, which as you can see, I absolutely love. I would repurchase this. I have mine in the shade Sunkissed. I I'm curious about trying it in the other shade. I believe it's called Pearly Glow, but this is a phenomenal product. I love mixing it, for example, with the Chanel Water Fresh Tint. These two go really well together, uh, especially if I want a little bit more coverage and even more of a glow. These pair beautifully, so this is definitely staying. I also really enjoy this Lit Up Highlight Stick by Westman Atelier. I have mine in the shade Nectar. I've had this for a little while now, and I use it quite often. I really love the very natural sheen it provides without really adding any color to the face, so this is a wonderful product. The one powder highlighter I own is this one by Burberry. It is in rose gold. It's just absolutely gorgeous, and I've used it a lot just provides such a gorgeous sheen on the skin. So definitely keeping this one. So I have two super loaded tinted highlighters by Westman Atelier and I haven't used Peau de Peche in a while. I don't enjoy using this one anymore and I did for a long time and I used it a lot. Not that you can necessarily tell, there's still quite a bit of product left, but I just don't enjoy using this anymore. I mean, the compact is nice, but in terms of using the product on my skin, I mean, for a very similar effect, I would use this one by Chanel, the Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid, and I find that it's a very similar shade. I mean, here is where the whole thing with luxury makeup comes in because I think, oh, it's such a beautiful product and it was expensive, but I mean, I feel like my love affair with it is over because I simply just don't use it anymore, so... This is also going to go. Hold de Rose I do enjoy and it does still feel really nice. But then I also have this Torch Lumiere in Rose Diamante by Serrat and I really, really love this one. So the question is, are they different enough for me to justify keeping them? And I really think they are. I think now that I look at this, Peau de Rose is a lot, I don't know, peachier and Rose Diamante is very cool toned pink. So I think both have their place. So I will keep both of these. Okay, now we're moving on to blush and this is where we're seriously gonna have to be edited. So I have this blush stick by Chanel in number 20. I've used it a lot, so this is all I have left. It's as far up as it goes. And I really do still love it. It's just, I don't know, it's such a unique shade. Perfect for every day. It's the little black dress of blushes. I think it's just a classic and I will continue to use it. It's clearly a product I love since I've used so much of it, so this is a keep. These are two blushes I purchased this year in March, so only a few months ago by Patrick Ta. And I really enjoy using these. This is She's Seductive and this is She's Blushing. 
So I'm definitely keeping both of these. I'm really enjoying the formula and I love combining these or wearing them on their own. They're wonderful. Okay, here we enter this complex right here. All these are blushes by Serrat and I love all of them. <laughs> so I can tell you right now that I'll be keeping all of these. You can imagine it's driving me bananas that this isn't filled and I think this is why this is my least reached for palette because I do want to fill this with another shade eventually. And I believe I swatched most of these in my previous declutter video. So if you're curious about different shades, you can always consult that video. This is a stunning palette right here and Baba Papa I'd say is one of my favorite shades. It just has the really pretty blue iridescence to it. Very, very unique. So just by looking at these, I mean, I have 11 blush shades right here. So that's more than enough, right? So I do need to do some editing here. I mean, I love the Surratt blush formula. I have 11 shades of it so we need to figure something out the other blush formula i really love is the one by makeup by mario i really enjoy his blush sticks the one that i'm reaching for the most is earthy pink i think it's just really beautiful just looks really natural so this one is a key let's take a look at these other three so i feel like i could easily replicate these shades in one or more of the colors I have by Serrat. Okay, so I just swatched them. So here we have earthy pink, raspberry, plumberry, and pale petal. All right, so I feel like... Okay, so here's my result. So as you can see, I mean, the Serrat shades are on the bottom here. Makeup by Mario on the top. And there are similarities, right? I think I also have a lipstick close to this color. Between the lipstick and the blush, it is so, oh, but it's kind of killing me because it is a little bit different. Mm. Uh, I just think it's such a special shade, that Plumberry. But I could use a little bit of this lipstick with this blush on top to sort of recreate it. But this has a different undertone to it. These are a lot cooler. This has that tiny bit more warmth. Okay, so let's move on from Plumberry. I think I can let go of Raspberry. Can I? Okay, this is harder than what I thought it would be. I can let go of Pale Petal because this one I know is not one of those special shades, whereas I feel like these two are really special. So I could keep these three and say goodbye to Pale Petal. Okay, we're gonna do that because I'm having feelings about letting go of Plumberry and Raspberry, so we'll keep those two. They're gonna survive this round. So we're gonna keep these three and say bye to Pale Petal. Okay, another blush I have is this one by Chanel, and I really love this one. This is in the color 170. It's extremely subtle. I mean, it's not even coming up on my hand right now, but when I build this up, it has the most beautiful golden shimmer in it, and I've already used it a lot, so I would be sad to let this one go, so I'm gonna keep this. I also have these these two blushes by Decorte and these colors are just so unique and so special and I only got them last December so I'll definitely be holding on to these and I do use them quite a bit. Now I am going to be decluttering this blush by Victoria Beckham as long as the other blush stick I have by her. But that is in the bag of the already definitely know I'm getting rid of products and the reason is because I now have this color and I much prefer this orange rather than this very almost fluorescent cool toned orange in comparison so i know that to keep one orange blush i do prefer this one it's called flam by Serrat, and you can't tell on camera and you can't tell on camera unfortunately but it's an orange that has almost golden sparkles to it it is so so beautiful i much prefer this one compared to this one so that's why i'm saying goodbye to this Oh, this one was hiding. So this is one of the Fito Blush Twists by Sisley. It reminds me a lot of Chanel's Rose Glacier, the coloring 170. See when I put them side by side, they're very similar. So why am I keeping both? Both offer advantages. This is great to travel with. It's great even to keep in my bag. And if I just want to touch up on blush during the day, it's just so easy to apply. This one by Chanel, it just has this magical quality to it that I cannot explain. And I love how I can really build it up or leave it soft. Or I love layering these together as well. And I think these are a wonderful substitute for what the Makeup by Mario blush stick and pale petal could offer me. I really love both and use both a lot, which is why I'm keeping them. 
I believe we have covered complexion. We will find out, but at least that's this part of this section covered. So over here, I have two eyeshadow products. Um, one is Petite Culotte by Violette FR, and another is the color Calf by Hindash. Despite looking so similar here, both are wonderful. I have posted a video with in-depth comparison of these two shades along with swatches, so if you'd like to see that, then I'll post the video up here for you to see. But yes, I'm definitely keeping both of these. I also use a lot of the MAC Pink Pot in Painterly. I think this is going to outlive me. It's what I use to prime my eyes when I don't want any depth added to the color it's just extremely neutral and I find this one quite effective so let's move over here because here is where we're gonna be a bit savage okay so here we have a curated palette by Sarad these shadows are just so beautiful they're incredibly soft which is why you can see that dent in there but they apply on the eye so beautifully definitely keeping this palette and similarly I have Surat in Beyond Beige this is absolutely gorgeous so these are the eyeshadow shades I have from Surat and they're absolutely stunning I have zero complaints about these and I reach for them on a regular rotation I have two quads by Pat McGrath both are lovely I think this one is really fun and this one is perfect for every day. They're just such special shades, so unique. I am so happy to have these, so definitely holding on to them. Okay, now we've gotten a little deeper here. So these are all by Chanel. And I really love Chanel's base products, but I'm not so sold on their eyeshadows. Like in this quad especially, I find these shades are just a little dry. This shade is beautiful. This shade here is really pretty, but I prefer the other similar shades I have in the Ciroc quads I just showed you. So I'm not going to be keeping this one. This one was to say Cambon. This one I've had for the longest. This was my first Chanel eyeshadow quads. And while I did use it a lot, I just don't reach for it anymore. I don't feel inspired by it. This red shade was really fun to play with, but I do prefer my Surat Beyond Beige palette for creating very brown tone looks. And if I really wanted a red, I have lots of red tone products that I could use, you know, between lipsticks or other eyeshadows. So I really I don't see any to keep this so I'm going to also declutter this one this is a quad that I've rarely reached for it is extremely festive it's one of those occasion sort of quads I just never feel compelled to reach for this it's very pretty I find it's one of those that's prettier to look at in the pan than it is on my eyes and between my other eyeshadow palettes, such as Disco by Byredo, I just don't feel the need to use this and I don't ever see myself picking it as a first choice for a look. So this one has also been decluttered. These quads excite me. I really love this orange shade in here. Instead of the Candor et Experience quad, I much prefer this one, and this one I think is just gorgeous. Uh, this is 354 Warm Memories, and this is Tissé Rivoli in my right hand. So now by keeping these and having this really positive association with both of them, I won't think of my Chanel quads as, oh yeah, those aren't fun, they're not interesting. I think, ooh, yeah, I really enjoy these two quads, and that makes me happy, so I'm happy to hold on to both of these. Now we're moving on to my Go Long Quads and I absolutely treasure this one. It's Mystic Peacock. It's so beautiful, definitely keeping. In particular, these two shades are just so, so special. Now this is Metal Butterfly. And again, I think this is one of those quads that looks pretty to look at, but on the eye, I don't really feel inspired. I mean, I have created a couple of looks with it, but I've had it for months now and I rarely feel the need to reach for it. Which is such a shame because it is really pretty and this pink is very special. Let me swatch this pink to see if I'm really ready to let go of it. Okay, looking at this pink, I know I have a very similar pink in a Byredo Quint. Yeah, I don't feel the need to keep this quad, so I will be letting this one go. Now this one I do love, especially for this shade right here. But you'll notice, I mean, look at the similarities, right? So there's no need to keep both. This is the one I reach for way more because I adore this shade right here. And I think that the this pink in particular is also very special. So I'm gonna keep this one, let this one go. Now this quad is by Tom Ford in the Creme Formula Tiger Eye. It's fine, I just never reach for it. I much prefer Byredo Disco over this one. And yeah, I just don't feel inspired by the Tom Ford quads. I don't think I'd purchase another. 
So this one I am also going to let go. Oh my gosh, I'm already feeling so accomplished. This is very satisfying. Oh my gosh, I'm already feeling so accomplished. This is very satisfying. I have all of the Byredo quints except one. I believe it's called State of Emotions, the most recent quint release. But I love every single one of these quints. I think the colors are so special. I love the formula. I just think they are incredibly special. This is one of my favorites, Siren. Oh, it's just so, so beautiful. Metal Boots in the Snow, oh, so, so pretty. This is Disco, the one I keep referencing. This one is Corporate Colors, which I have fallen in love with again recently, and I've really begun to play around with it a bit more. And then we have their Special Edition Quince in Purple Echo. So yeah, there I have a pink that is similar to the one in Metal Butterfly. This is just slightly more cool toned. And I also have this one, Fret Noir, which is, oh, just so so scrumptious love it okay so now i believe i have room to put these pat mcgrath quads and these serrat quads oh my goodness all my eyeshadow fits here that is exciting well aside from my larger quads but that's fine i only have two of those that looks so good oh and then I have this one. I bought this this year as well, and I really love it. So special, the LH Cosmetics Shimmer Saga. I particularly love this pink shade. Oh, so pretty. Ooh, so much sparkle, love it. So let's put this one there. Beautiful. Okay, so I have these from Lid Cosmetics. They're the sort of glitter eyeshadow. I think they're really cool. They're just a lot of work to put on. So this is Glitter Junkie, which I think is really, really fun. And then I have this one in Gunsmoke. And the effect of this is very similar to the shades in Fet Noir by Byredo. So I am going to get rid of this one. And I will keep this one because you never know when I just might be feeling a bit crazy. But then I have this by About Face. This one I just wore the other day. Oh, it's nice. It is so nice. Ooh, it's pretty. That is so special. Oh, let me see if I can capture it better. It's even more beautiful in real life. The camera is not doing it justice. Okay, now I'm curious. Oh yeah, this is quite different. Oh my gosh, this is gonna get everywhere. Okay, now I remember why I haven't used this. It's because you have to use the glue and everything and it's a bit complicated. Oh, it looks really pretty here, but practically I just don't use it. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna keep the about face and we're gonna, we're gonna let go of this and see who would wanna play with it. This one by Decorte I'm still really enjoying because it is such a special shade. It's this very gorgeous mint. Very beautiful for spring, especially if you pair it with a fuchsia lip. Oof. Gorgeous. I have this one by Bobbi Brown in the shade Moonstone. Again, lovely. I have Urban Decay Space Cowboy, which just adds that magical ethereal kick to everything. So these three are staying. I have Chanel in Undertone, which as you can see, I've used a lot. It's still got some, she's still got some life in her. So let's put uh, there. Really gorgeous, excellent one and done. But the one I don't use very often is this one, Rouge Profond. See, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, it is really pretty. But when I put it on my eyes, it just feels like too much. And I do have other shades that could mimic it. Let's look at the palette by Byredo. I just consulted some of my other eyeshadows and I am going to hold on to Rouge Profond for now. I know, I'm not doing so well here, but okay, so we're having two single Chanel's, one Decorte, one by Urban Decay, and one by Bobbi Brown. Okay, so these are my single eyeshadows and I really don't think it's too terrible. I, th I can live with this. Okay, I've just put those to the side. So now we are going to turn to this little mess in the corner over here. 
Okay, so let's look at these Sicily lipsticks. So we have Orange Calvi, Rose Mexico, Rouge Miami. I think I'm going to let go of Orange Calvi and I'm going to keep Rose Mexico and Rouge Miami. I definitely know I wanna keep Rose Mexico. Let me remind myself of Rouge Miami. Oh yeah, that's fun. That's a fun shade. So, okay, so I'll be keeping that one. But Orange Calvi, I am not entirely sure. It's a very not to hear or there shade, which maybe is a good one to hold on to for now. Let's see what other ones I end up keeping. And if I think this has its place, I think it's always the name orange that throws me off. But then when I look at it, it's not orange at all. It's sort of like a bright coral. Okay, so let's like a bright muted coral, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's so let's continue doing terribly so far. This was a gift with purchase from Sicily, just a clear lip gloss, which I have ruined by combining it with a pink lipstick. But nonetheless, I didn't think the formula was that special. So I'm going to let go of this because the one lipstick I do love is this one by Tom Ford in, in the buff. I mean, as you can see, I've made quite a dent in it. I love this one. Definitely prefer over the Sisley formula, so this is a keep. Clarins lip oils, I really adore these. I've made a video dedicated to these. They are a relatively recent purchase and I use them extremely often, so keeping these. The Surratt lip gloss, Whenever I reach for it, I end up taking it off. I love how it looks inside the tube, but it is a little bit sticky and that bothers me. So I'm going to let go of this one. I have this Gucci black lipstick, which admittedly I don't use often, but I think this is something to keep just because there are many different ways you can use a black lipstick and it's, it's one of those things that I do like having it. I have these Armani lip powers. Okay, so here we have 403. Through 301 I know I love. Oh yeah, look at that orange. Oh. Very similar to the Victoria Beckham blush that I decluttered, which shows that I didn't need to keep that blush. 202, I've used this a bunch. Let's keep that one. Really, really not doing well here. Um, 405. I wonder how similar this is. Oh no, that is completely different. Oh, that is sexy. That is 405 Sultan. And 302, this is another orange. So you're probably wondering, do I need 301 and 302? And the answer is yes, especially as I'm going through a huge orange kick right now. Okay, so all the Armani lip powers are staying. Oh dear. Not doing so well. Okay, I have these two lip colors by Violetta Far. I really love both. They're one of the very few lipstick formulas that I enjoy. I really love this lipstick by Hermes in Rouge Grenade. I've talked about this a lot. Lisa Eldridge Skyscraper Rose. This is a very special color. It's the one Lisa Eldridge lipstick that I am keeping. I am decluttering to others. I'm keeping this for the color. I'm not crazy about the formula, but the color is very special. So these are ones my girl long, and I believe I featured all of these in my recent declutter video as well. And you know what? I apologize, but I cannot remember the names of my girl long lipsticks. I just know the shades. So I only know how they look on my lips. So I know, I think this is Berry Alchemy. Anyway, they're all absolutely gorgeous. And of course, because I have these gorgeous cases, it makes them even harder to let go of. But I really, really adore the Girl Long lipstick formula. Let's move on to products that I know I need to be getting rid of. Now, as you know, I love Violette FR's U paints, okay? I mean, Obviously, I have so many of them, <laughs> but I did pick most of these up over a year ago and some of them are starting to dry out. I know I want to get rid of this one because this one I rarely reach for. This is in the color Marron Glacé. I just don't reach for this one very much and it's a pretty shade, but I know I can replicate it. This is her Blue de Nuit. I'll hold on to this one for now. All right, I, I don't think I can talk this out. I'm just going to put the ones I am going to get rid of in this hand and the ones I'll keep in this hand. Okay, that feels good to me. So I'm going to hold on to these twinkling shades and two do or, mm, you know what? I really reach for a particular lot more than two do. So here's what, I'm gonna hold on to these three and these I am going to declutter. 
Okay, this is a single eyeshadow by Chanel, and I do think I have enough frosty pinks at my disposal that I can get rid of this. I never reach for it. It's just not a formula that I'm really crazy about, and I wore it a couple of times, and then I got over it, and I, if I know I'm not going to reach for it, then I just need to. See you later. This is the Lip Final by Byredo, and I have grown to really enjoy this formula. I just unfortunately can't use this color on its own. It's called Unreasonable Doubt, so I always layer it with a liner. And then I do like it. I just have to apply the smallest amount. I am interested in getting it in another color maybe down the line and keeping it in my bag as an everyday lip color to replace this one right here by Givenchy. Because I mean, look at how much I've used of that. It's almost gone. This is in the color Chilling Brown, I believe. And yeah, I am sure it is in the color Chilling Brown. It's just perfect color. So I would like to find something from Byredo in this sort of very fleshy, my lips but better color. If not, I would repurchase this. This is just beautiful. It's always in my bag. Excellent, excellent product. Okay, this is the Fito Blush Twist by Sicily in the shade Contour. And it's nice, but I just don't reach for it. And while it looks warm there, it does blend out to you know, look fine. But between my Westman Atelier contour stick, I really don't reach for anything else and that and the Tom Ford bronzer. So I am going to let this one go. This is by Radio Lipstick in the color Feverish. It is one of their shimmering lipsticks. Very, very gorgeous. Again, can't wear this color on its own, but when I wear it with a liner, it looks fantastic. Here I have Guerlain's Gel Gloss in Rose Gold. It's so beautiful. I love putting a little bit on my eyes. Not all over the eye or it will crease or just on top of a certain lipstick. It's really, really special, really, really fun. I mean, just look at that color. So, so beautiful. Okay, I know it looks crazy right now, but we're almost at the finish line. So I'm going to bring you up and this is all we have left to sort through. All of my Drius Van Noten lipsticks, all of them I love. I have four up there. I have three here. I absolutely love them. I only own them in the satin and sheer formulas and I've shown all of them on my channel before so no shade has gone unswatched on this channel yet here i have the surat artistic liquid liner which i love now i know i'm in the minority here but i'm really not a fan of this case it is just so big and i thought it was cool when i saw it in video but i just don't enjoy it and i never reached for this lipstick and you see what it's done it's just, and I haven't even used it that often. And I've seen this happen in a few other videos. It just really bothers me, especially because this was quite expensive. Is this in the shade Park Avenue? I mean, the lipstick itself, now that I've swatched it, it feels absolutely gorgeous. Ugh, just the packaging that ruins it for me. But the lipstick itself is truly stunning. Like when I swatched it just now, I reminded myself, wow, it, it really, really is beautiful. So, I will hold on to this, and if I don't end up using it, we will move on. Okay, so let's keep this for now. Maybe I'll put it there just so it's easier for me to access. Okay, my mascara, that's obviously a keep. Here I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze and Gucci Brow Pencil. They're my two brow products, those are a keep. Here I have my staple eyeliners, so I have this one by Lancome. And this is the black coal pencil. Absolutely love this. It's a staple. And then I have my two Victoria Beckham eyeliners. And I am going to declutter Bordeaux as I just rarely reach for it. And I really don't like how it smudges. Whereas with Coco, I like the smudge, you know, because that's the look that I'm going for. Sorry, it's not focusing. And as you can see, there is a big difference between how much I've used them. So this is Coco and this is Bordeaux. So I'm gonna say goodbye to Bordeaux. If I do miss that color, I do have it in the Girl Long Quad in um, Golden Stars or the Pat McGrath Quad. Is that maroon, the one that has the blue and the maroon shades. So I don't feel like it's a loss there. So I'll keep these two here. And you know what? This is bothering me. I, I'm not keeping this. My Armani lip powers are so similar. They're giving that similar look that I want with that very orangey red. I don't need this. I don't reach for it. I just need to let this go. Here are my lip liners. The two lip liners I always use every single day are these two by Sisley in Beige Natural and Chocolate. I just love both. Formulas are absolutely amazing. And I have these ones by Chanel, but I just don't use them. 
the colors are pretty but because I love this formula so much I just don't reach for these and I have this one from Chantecaille in the shade natural I don't reach for this one so I'm gonna declutter these and keep these two because really these are the only two that I use be warned as soon as you get your first Sicily lip liner you will be spoiled and you will want all of them and the rest of your lip liners will be neglected so that is what's happening right here speaking of Sicily liners these are all of Sicily's eyeliners that I have I have sparkling black sparkling gray mystic blue sparkling blue mystic green I believe this is mystic plum yes this is mystic plum I have featured all of these on my channel before I absolutely love them so I will be holding on to these now here I have two Sicily eye twists I have one in black and one in emerald and I'm going to keep the one in emerald and I never used this one in black I think at the time I was just searching for something I could use as a black eyeliner because I couldn't find one that worked but now I have the one by Lancome so I definitely never reach for this but I'm definitely going to hold on to this one in the emerald I cannot even begin to tell you how happy this makes me so I did move some things around so these are normally sitting over here in this corner and I just move them over there and it just sort of gives them a new feel like oh okay I'm excited to use them now just because I moved them somewhere else doesn't that look so pretty I'm so happy that I can see these lipsticks in their cases now all right so let's look at the carnage so to the right here are the products that I've shown you that I am not getting rid of and I believe some in here as well we went through this 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 so just sort of getting rid of it as we go on this one this one this one okay so these products are the ones that you know I am getting rid of and we'll talk about it together so let's get through what is already in this bag okay so this might come as a surprise because I featured it in the best blushes video that I did and I adore this blush love the formula that I'm just not reaching for it because I do prefer my Surratt blushes and the color is just so similar. Okay, all right, what do we have here? This is a Fito Lip Twist by Sicily and this color just makes me look absolutely dead. Looks pretty there, but on my lips, it just does absolutely nothing for me. It makes me look very corpse-ish, so that's why I'm getting rid of this, never reach for it. And this was a gift with purchase that I've never used. This is a Balm de Rose by By Terry. I don't even want to open it so that when I do pass it on to somebody, I can say it is completely untouched. So yeah, I've just never used this. It's a gift with purchase. This is the other blush stick by Victoria Beckham in the shade Mini Skirt. And I did use it a lot once upon a time, but I just never reached for it. Ultimately, I think I prefer a more hydrating formula than this and and I've had this for quite a while now And I just don't feel inspired and since I did keep the makeup by Mario and Plumberry I mean, this is very close to that I'm not gonna be sad to pass this on now This might crush a few hearts, but I am letting go of this Lockerty blush by Sicily looks pretty is pretty don't use it that's really the moral of the story there it's not much more to it one of those things that's much prettier to look at here than on my face this is also from Sicily this is the color beige Manhattan again this does nothing for me and as you can see it's very similar to the lip twist color these colors just don't do anything for me in fact it's coming across as more saturated on camera than it is in real life in real life it's like a pale mauvey sort of color and that just does absolutely nothing for me lisa eldridge in velvet dragon i really don't like this formula at all and if i am going to go for a color like this i would pick sultan in the amani lip power number 405 so yeah this is just a color that i don't reach for 
don't care for the formula so that's going another lisa eldridge shade in the color rainbow spill it's a cool color i don't reach for it i much prefer rose mexico by sisley victoria beckham lip luster in the shade honey oh my goodness if sonia butler is watching this i i'm sorry my girl i do love these brands <laughs> lisa eldridge and victoria beckham you're probably thinking oh my goodness but i just don't reach for this yeah, I don't know. I remember seeing this on the website and feeling so excited and then I just never used it. So I don't know. It's probably just user error, but yeah, I just don't feel inspired to use this one. I did have, and I did have Mink and Mirror and I passed those on to my mom when she was here and they just look absolutely beautiful on her. So it's definitely a me thing. Shantokai Perfect Blurring Powder. I kept this to keep in my purse and I still don't use it then. So this is going. I much prefer the Sisley Blur Expert to this one. And then finally, two lipsticks. One of them is the Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom in the shade Blast. Pretty color, but ultimately I don't reach for it anymore. I went through a phase where I used it a lot and now I just don't. I think the Julius Van Noten Latin Carmine is similar enough to this where I really don't need it. And then I have this lipstick by Le Bouche Rouge. Pretty, but I prefer the formula of the Armani Lip Palette and the color is just painfully similar. That is it, the bag is empty. And this is what we are letting go of and there are a lot of beautiful products here. I completely realize that they will go to a good home and to someone who will love and appreciate them and use them. I'm just not that person anymore and I am feeling so much better about my makeup collection now and just kind of getting rid of the dead weight and this is also an excellent reminder that I do not need more things. I mean, I want more of the Sisley lip liners but you know, I can wait. Those are the only products I can really think of where I would really love more options in that specific formula. But for everything else, I am really happy with what I have. Okay, so now you have seen everything, you've seen my choices, what I've chosen to declutter. And since then, I have purchased a few items and have been gifted a couple of items because it was my birthday recently. So I'm gonna walk you through what I've gotten. So after decluttering those eyeliners, I did buy two Sisley eyeliners and let me tell you, I am so happy with them. So this is Nude Rose The Beige Natural and Chocolate, which I already had. I love, love, love these lip liners. They are sensational. And I am letting you know right now, I will eventually own all of the colors. To give you an idea of how much I have used the other ones, these are the new ones I purchased. And these are Beige Natural and Chocolate. So I've used these babies a bunch. Now, remember when a couple of months ago I said, oh, I can't purchase the Sisley So Volume Mascara. It's too expensive. I just couldn't help it. It's It felt like coming home, you know? It was just like, this is where she belongs. It is, mm, I'm so happy with this mascara. It's my number one favorite. And as a gift with purchase in this order, I also got the So Volume Mascara, but in blue. So I have it in deep back, deep black and in blue. And let me tell you, the blue one, oof, I plan on doing a look with it because this mascara is very, very fun and very wearable. It's the kind of blue that isn't, it's not very obvious, but when you see it from certain angles, it just looks really cool and edgy, but in a very stylish, sophisticated way. An additional gift with purchase with this Sisley order was the lipstick in the color Beige Barley, which is lovely. I am wearing it today layered with the Sisley liner in Rose The and the Byredo Lip Vinyl in Unreasonable Doubt. And oh, just really nice nude this is a nude as i want to go but nude lip color now i can't remember if it was shown in the declutter but i had the givenchy uh, lip balm rose perfecto lip balm i believe it's called in the color chilling brown and that is completely gone i completely used it up my mum bought it for me i want to say two years ago now so i really love the color i wanted it again so i thought i would try the same color 
but in this version of the lip balm right here, Sarah just comes with this doe foot applicator and I love it. It isn't as long lasting as I would like it to be, but it's a wonderful topper on top of a liner. It's a wonderful thing to have in my bag just to put on my lips, just to have that bit of lovely, I don't wanna say shine, but just almost a satin look to the lips and the color is so wearable and it is very cooling, but it isn't overbearing or anything. So I'm really happy with that choice. I was gifted this NARS palette. So it is the Orgasm Foreplay Blush Quad. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah, the Orgasm Foreplay Blush, blush Quad, my goodness. I did not realize that play on words until just now. Very saucy. So this is the quad and doesn't that just look sensational? I love blending all of these shades together and then going with this, just, just a light dusting on top. And honey, I'm telling you, it is some sort of orgasmic magic. It's just mwah, wonderful. Now I also have here a bit of an indulgent purchase. It is the Hermes lipstick in the color Rouge and I'm going to feature this in an upcoming video. It is a stunning shade of red. Very vibrant yet rich, oh, delectable. Very wearable for all of the seasons. Another red lipstick from Byredo. I know, I know. In the color red and blue. So let me show you swatches of them side by side. So here is Byredo in red and blue. And this is the Hermes in Rouge Pemont. I absolutely love both and I will feature both in an upcoming red lipstick video soon. Now my beautiful friend Shayna and her channel is called Smelly Skin. Uh, she gifted me this Clay de Peau lipstick for my birthday, which was just such an incredible surprise and so sweet of her. And it is in the color 5 Camellia and I've used it quite a bit already. It is that perfect everyday shade. So I love just using it in a pinch. Isn't it just so pretty? It just has that perfect amount of brightness to it. It's just, oof, stunning. I love it and the formula is so comfortable. Oh, I had to control myself to not go on the website and look at other colors because I'm very happy with that color and yeah, I was so grateful that Shayna sent that to me. And now I have saved the best for last. You probably already know that I purchased this since I posted about it on my community tab, but I did buy the Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Cream in the color Rosy Beige. So it's just this one right here. And let me tell you something. Look at my skin today. Look at it. Does it not look like this magically airbrushed sort of skin? It's just, is this? It's, it's not naturally like this. It's because of this. It just brings this sort of magical airbrushed perfection. And I admit, I was skeptical when I first bought it because I thought, mm, it probably doesn't do much. Oof, oof, it does so much that for the first time ever, in my history of makeup purchasing, I bought a backup of a makeup product. So I have purchased another one of this because I'm thinking how quickly am I going to go through it and I would be devastated at this point to not be able to use it again. So I did buy another. And I did also purchase the Kabuki brush to use with it, but I'll talk about that more in a video where I'll use this product on camera and go into more detail. So that is what's new since I decluttered over three weeks ago. I know it sounds like a lot when I, you know, list it all together, but a handful of these things were gifts and, you know, gifts to myself. And at the end of the day, makeup, it's all to have fun, to feel empowered, to feel extra special about ourselves, to enjoy the process. For me, it is incredibly therapeutic, as I'm sure it is for many of you as well. I am really happy with how my makeup collection is looking now. Even since introducing these few new products, I just know where everything is, everything has a purpose, it all feels very intuitive, and I feel like I kept things that will last throughout all the seasons. It's not like just because we're in summer and leaning towards more summer colors. I do feel that I kept products that are good throughout the winter and autumn seasons as well. I really hope all of you are doing well. I know that it's been a hot minute since I've posted a video. 
usual excuses apply here. But I really do miss chatting with you, so I'd love to know how are you doing, what is new, what makeup have you purchased, or what have you not been purchasing, what is on your wish list. I love catching up with you, so I'd love for you to drop a comment and say hello. So until next time, I hope you have a beautiful day or evening. Take good care of yourself, and I will chat to you soon. Bye.